Hello everyone, this is Tanuja Gupta. Welcome to my channel and let's start our next topic which is what? Photorespiration or it is also called C2 cycle. So we have uh, taught about the C3 cycle. We have done four, C4 cycle, yes, because on the basis of three carbon product and four carbon product, they are named as well. But what is this C2 cycle? Okay, is there any role of this C2 cycle or not? Let's have a look. What happened as you know in C3 as well as in C4 cycle, there is a one compound RUBP and it get merged with one molecule of CO2 and get formed or to converted into two molecule of three three phosphoglyceric acid okay fine this RUVP is five carbon compound this is one carbon compound and it is a three carbon compound that's why it is formed two molecule of three, uh, phosphoglyceric acid right okay but it is done with the help of one enzyme known as rubisco okay rubisco enzyme which has the oxygenase as well as carboxylase activity okay it performs both oxygenase as well as carboxylase activity because its full name is ribulose oxygenase or carboxylase enzyme okay now what happened sometime in case of c2 cycle what happened if this concentration is become very low if co2 concentration is become very low and instead of it o2 concentration is become high okay then what happened instead of this phosphoglyceric acid this o2 will react with this rubp and it make one molecule of phosphoglyceric acid and one molecule of phosphoglycolate phospho glycolate okay fine and which is a two carbon compound clear okay so because it is a five carbon and here is no carbon so five carbon will divide it into three carbon and two carbon compound so what happened only one phosphoglyceric acid will take part further for the glucose formation and this will have no use so overall uh, this time this rubisco will play only the oxygenase activity earlier it was performing the carboxylase activity but now it is performing the oxygenase activity okay so because of this the productivity of this photosynthesis will get reduced okay fine and during this cycle i'm not going to explain the cycle because it is not in our syllabus so i'm just telling the byproduct of this cycle is co2 also okay now what is happening in this one they are utilizing o2 and releasing co2 okay and have the conception of atp also right whereas earlier in c3 and c4 cycle they were using the co2 and releasing the o2 okay and they are producing the atp molecule because through this sugar molecule will produce and that will provide the ultimately atp okay so it means what is the uh, two uh, drawback of this cycle one drawback is what there is a production of co2 along with the consumption of atp consumption of atp okay and second point is what there is no production no production of sugar as well as atp and nadph okay so both things are not useful for any plant that is why this cycle is totally wasteful cycle it is totally wasteful cycle or process are you clear are you getting me it is a total wasteful product uh, cycle so that is why they have to plant have to maintain a uh, optimum concentration or a maximum concentration of co2 then only this will bind with rubp and it will not allow the binding of o2 with rubp 
clear okay so that is why in bundle sheet cell what is happening because in uh, mesophyll in c3 cycle there is a large amount of o2 also produced okay as you remember about the c3 and c4 cycle and if you have not uh, uh, seen those uh, videos you can watch those video i will share the link in the description box okay so in c3 cycle what was happening the co2 was consuming and along with it O2 was also uh, coming out okay as a byproduct so that is why what is happening this O2 concentration is also very much high near the rubisco activity rubisco activity so there's a chance that it will bind with this O2 and go for the C2 cycle okay yes why it is called C2 cycle because there is a two carbon compound product that is phosphoglycolate is forming that is why it is named C2 cycle okay so that is why in C3 cycle there is a loss of productivity photosynthetic but in C4 cycle what was happening as it is taken place in two part in mesophyll and in bundle sheet cell okay and i've told you in mesophyll there is a no chloroplast uh, performing or you can say as i told you as i told you in mesophyll there is no rubisco present rubisco enzyme is not present but here rubisco enzyme is present so there is no chance of binding of rubp with oxygen okay and in bundle sheet cell because in bundle sheet cell decarboxylation occur okay first you go through this cycle then only you will understand so decarboxylation occur so there is a large amount of co2 also produced in bundle sheet cell so this ensure the binding of co2 with rubp and go for the uh, formation of pga and further for the kelvin cycle okay so this is how uh, this bundle sheet cell there's a, a special anatomy of this bundle sheet cell it allow or it prevent the rubp to bind with the o2 or it uh, prevent the photorespiration means photo oxidation of the rubp is called photorespiration or c2 cycle so that's why it uh, uh, prevent it okay and c2 cycle it happen in the chloroplast it also happen in the uh, mitochondria and worm organelle that is peroxisomes okay so these three organelles in which the c2 cycle happen or perform okay so i think it is clear now there are on the basis of this photorespiration little bit about the anatomy there's a difference in between the c3 and c4 plants so let's have a look what are the difference in between c3 and c4 plants this is a table showing the difference in between c3 and c4 cycle and i have only shown the characteristics okay let's have a look what are the difference so first character is the cell type okay means what which cell contain or perform the calvin cycle in c3 plant which cell perform the calvin cycle it is the mesophyll cell okay whereas in c4 plant which cell will perform that is the bundle sheath cell okay second point is the what primary co2 accepted in c3 cycle it is the rubp which is a five carbon compound whereas in c4 plant in this cycle primary acceptor is the phosphoenol pyruvate which is a three carbon compound now primary co2 fixation product means what after the uh, having merged with co2 which primary product getting formed so here the product is forming that is the phosphoglyceric acid which is a three carbon compound that is why they are named as c3 plant okay and here oxaloacetic acid which is a four carbon compound named a c4 plant okay now fourth point is what cell have rubisco means what which cells have the rubisco so in c3 plant mesophyll cell has the rubisco okay that is why it also go for the photorespiration whereas in c4 plant bundle sheet cell have the rubisco okay clear now the next point is chloroplast type it is very important also chloroplast in c3 plant is only monomorphic morphic means what there is only one type of 
chloroplast that is what normally the chloroplast is structure okay and it is present in mesophyll cell whereas in c4 plant there's a two type of chloroplast okay so we will say it is a dimorphic okay one is present in mesophyll cell and another is present in the bundle sheath cell so in bund uh, okay i'll write first mesophyll so in mesophyll it is present known as granule granal chloroplast whereas in bundle sheath it is a granal i have already told about this one in my previous video what do you mean by granal and a granal you can go through those one okay next is what cringe anatomy that also i have told already so cringe anatomy is it present in c3 plant no so it is totally absent in c3 plant whereas in c4 plant is it is present okay that is the specialty of c4 plant now mesophyll type in c3 plant the mesophyll is differentiated okay differentiated into two type of tissues one is the spongy tissue okay and the another one is the palisade tissue palisade tissue okay and they also have intercellular spaces intercellular space okay means what it's like this one cells are like this one so uh, they have this intercellular space this one space okay whereas in c4 plant this mesophyll cell doesn't differentiate so it is undifferentiated okay and it doesn't have the intercellular space also so there are the certain points let's have a look of next points of uh, c3 and c4 plants let's have a look of our next point eighth one point that is the co2 fixation rate okay the co2 fixation rate under high light intensity is the medium rate okay whereas in c4 plant it is very high co2 fixation rate okay next is what photorespiratory loss as i told you in c3 plant uh, rubisco is present only in the mesophyll cell so there is a o2 concentration is also present there so there is a chance of photorespiration so say here there is a high photorespiratory loss and here it is almost negligible and absent okay now what is the temperature at which these plants survive or they can uh, perform this photosynthesis so here the optimum temperature is 20 to 25 degree celsius and or centigrade as here it is around 35 to 45 degree centigrade okay next photosynthetic efficiency which plant has more photosynthetic efficiency because it can prevent the photorespiratory loss so definitely c4 plant will have more photosynthetic efficiency so it will have less photosynthetic efficiency it will have high photosynthetic efficiency now what are the example of such plants for example like wheat rice they are comes under the c3 plants where c4 plants like maize sugar cane as well as sorghum okay mostly monocots comes under this category Mo mostly okay not all mostly monocots comes under this category so i think this topic is clear we have uh, uh, in concluded about the photo uh, photorespiration as well as the difference in between c3 and c4 plants so if you have any doubt just write your query in the comment box i will clear those one and if you like this video please hit the like button for motivating me and share and subscribe my channel so thank you so much guys for watching this video thanks a lot